Now when Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he was asking his disciples, who do the people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, some say John the Baptist, and others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah or one of the other prophets. He said to them, but who do you yourselves say that I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Bar-Jonah, because flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overpower it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall have been bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he gave the disciples strict orders that they were to tell no one that he was the Christ. Matthew 16, 13 through 20. So it's clear that Peter believed Jesus to be Messiah and the Son of God. These two titles for Jesus, they're accurate. They're 100% true. As we read the Bible and take all the voices of the prophets and the apostles regarding the identity of the Messiah, we discover that Jesus is worthy of many other titles too. So we know that when Peter says Jesus is the Christ, He's gotten us off to a beautiful start with amassing titles for our king. But we should ask, what else is said about the Messiah? What other names and titles does he claim? Who do the prophets and the apostles say that he is in the fullness of the whole scope of scripture? Isaiah says the Messiah is wonderful, counselor, prince of peace, mighty God, the everlasting father. Isaiah 9, 6. Jeremiah says the Messiah is the righteous branch of David and a king, and that he shall be called Yahweh, our righteousness. Jeremiah 23, 5 through 6. Daniel says the Messiah is one who is like the Son of Man, and that he rides the clouds of heaven, and that this one has all authority and sovereignty. Daniel 7, 13 through 14. Zechariah says the Messiah is the king of Zion. Zechariah 9, 9. Micah says that the Messiah is a ruler whose origins are from of old, from ancient of days. Micah 5.2 Malachi calls the Messiah the son of righteousness who comes with healing in his wings. Malachi 4.2 David calls the Messiah his Adonai, Lord, Psalm 110.1, and also God's son who rules with the rod of iron, Psalm 2, 9-12. Job calls him the Redeemer who lives. Job 19, 25 through 27. Matthew calls Jesus the Messiah, Emmanuel, God with us, Matthew 1, 23. The angel Gabriel calls Jesus the Holy One and the Son of God, Luke 1, 35. And the other angels on that Christmas night speaking to the shepherds from heaven say that Jesus is Savior, Lord, and Christ, Luke 2, 11. John calls Jesus the Word of God, who is with God and who is God, John 1.1. He calls Jesus the unique Son, full of grace and truth, John 1.14-18. John says that Jesus is the light of all humankind, a light which the darkness cannot overcome, John 1.4-5. John calls Jesus the Word of God again in Revelation 19.13, calls Him faithful and true, Revelation 19.11 and calls him King of Kings and Lord of Lords in Revelation 19.16. The Samaritan woman and the people she tells about Jesus call him the Savior of the world, John 4.42. Peter calls Jesus our God and Savior, 2 Peter 1.1, and he calls him the Holy One of God, John 6.69. Paul calls Jesus the wisdom and power of God. 1 Corinthians 1.24. He calls him the Lord of glory. 1 Corinthians 2.8. He calls him the rock which followed Israel in the wilderness. 1 Corinthians 10.4-10. Paul says that Jesus is the one through whom all things were made. Colossians 1.16. And that this is the same one in whom all things hold together. Colossians 1.17. Paul calls Jesus the blessed God. Romans 9.5. The great God and Savior. Titus 2.13. Son of God and heir of all things and the radiance and exact representation of God's being who sustains the universe by his powerful word, Hebrews 1, 1 through 3. Paul continues to quote the Father who speaks to the Son in Hebrews 1, saying, Your throne, O God, endures forever, Hebrews 1, 8. 
Paul calls Jesus the image of the invisible God, Colossians 1.15. The head of the church and the one who has all supremacy, Colossians 1.18. Paul says Jesus is the Lord who has the name above all names, Philippians 2, 9 through 11. And he says of Jesus that he is equal to God, Philippians 2, 5 through 6. Paul calls Jesus the righteous judge of all men everywhere, Acts 17, 31. Paul says that in Christ the fullness of deity dwells bodily, Colossians 2, 9. And Paul says that Jesus Christ is our life, Colossians 3, 4. His brother James calls him the glorious Lord. Thomas, that's in James 2, 1. And Thomas calls Jesus my Lord and my God, John 20, 28. Jude calls Jesus the only master and Lord, Jude 1.4, and says Jesus is the one who led Israel out of Egypt, Jude 1.5. Luke calls Jesus the God who bought the church with his blood, Acts 20.28. The four living creatures and 24 elders call him the worthy lamb who has received all riches, honor, glory, blessing, strength, and wisdom, Revelation 5.12. And Jesus himself witnesses to his own identity. He calls himself the way and the truth and the life, John 14, 6. He calls himself the good shepherd, John 10, 11. He calls himself the resurrection and the life, John 11, 25. He calls himself the true bread from heaven, John 6, 51. He calls himself the light of the world, John 8, 12. Jesus says that he is the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the ruler of creation, Revelation 3.14, the first and the last, Revelation 1.17, and the one who searches the hearts and minds of all people, Revelation 2.23. Jesus calls himself Lord of the Sabbath, Matthew 12.8, the bridegroom, Mark 2.19, and he says that if you have seen him, you have seen the Father, John 14.9. Jesus says before Abraham was, I am. And I have told you these things before they happen, so that when they occur, you will know that I am He. Those are John 8, 58 and John 13, 19. Brothers and sisters, we've got to ask, who is this that all God's angels worship? Hebrews 1, 6. Who is this that even the winds and the waves obey Him? Mark 4, 41. Who is this that can raise Himself from the dead? John 2, 19 through 22. Who is this that rides the clouds of heaven? Acts 1.9 Who is this that multiplies fish and bread to feed 5,000? Matthew 14.13-21 Who is this that makes the sea like a road and he traverses upon it? Matthew 14.22-33 Who is this that has life within himself? John 5.26 Who is this who commands the armies of angels? Matthew 26.53-54 Who is this? This who can promise to be with us no matter where we are. Matthew 28, 20. Who is this that is our redemption, our sanctification, our wisdom, and our righteousness? 1 Corinthians 1, 30. His name is Jesus of Nazareth. So now we know Jesus of Nazareth is Messiah and the Son of the living God. Peter said so. Jesus affirmed it and said that was not even revealed to Peter by his own wit and wisdom, but that was revealed by the Father from heaven. But we also know that he is fully God. Light from light, true God from true God, one with the Father and Spirit in essence, power, nature, and being. For no mere human, no mere creature, no mere thing of the dust can claim these titles. No mere human, no mere creature, no mere thing of the dust can be spoken of like this by the prophets and the apostles. No mere human, no mere creature, no mere thing of the dust can say he is king, Lord, light, life, Righteous, glorious, wisdom, power, God, blessed God, mighty God, holy one of God, the fullness of God, the eternal word of God, the I am, who was and is and always will be the first and the last, the savior of the world, the husband of the church. No mere human, no mere creature, no mere thing of the dust can speak like that. And so we say, who is Jesus of Nazareth? Jesus is God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Amen.